Welcome to 574 Sports. My name is Tanner Camp, and along to my right we have junior Alison Berry, nicknamed AB, and he is this week's Maple Leaf Athlete of the Week. AB is averaging 7.6 points on the season while also averaging 7.7 .7 rebounds, which leads the team while shooting 45% from the field. He's one of five Maple Leafs to start in all, in all 20 games, and he's one of the only non-seniors. Uh, against Taylor within that week, he had 7 points and 8 rebounds. And against Mount Vernon Nazarene, he had 11 points and 4 rebounds. A.B., first off, thank you for joining us today. Really appreciate your time. Of course. Um, so, first question, how does it feel to be this week's Maple Leaf Athlete of the Week? Uh, it's a great feeling. That's like the icing on the cake on, of like all the hard work I put in the summer. And like, just like, it's a, it's a team effort. Like, without my teammates, I wouldn't be here. So, my teammates set me up for this so well you know encourage the team you know they have been a big part of you since your arrival here last year um so we kind of talked a little about going into the season uh, what, what was your mindset before you know practices and then the season what was your kind of mindset or what was your goal basically for the season um so i knew that i was becoming an upperclassman a junior so i needed to step up and like be more of a leader on and off the court and improve my work ethic and like lead by example. So over the summer, I used to work out every day and then just trying to prepare myself for the season and just help this, help our team succeed and reach our goals. Cause I knew that, um, that my role was going to be bigger than it was last year. And it's definitely stepped up, but you've definitely delivered for the Maple Leafs this season. So you kind of talked a little bit about, you did some stuff over the summer. What specifically did you focus on or do over the summer to prepare yourself for the season? Um, I've had a lot of new knee issues and just a lot of issues with my core and just lower body. So that's why over the summer I worked with, uh, with some physicians and some other trainers and some specialists to just work on my core and lower body. And it's really paying off, I would say, because like I can get off the floor really easy now and move easier and I'm, a, I'm more mobile and agile so and good uh, you knowing that you haven't really had many injuries if any at all so it's very good to work on that over the summer yeah. um, in your personal opinion how would you say the team is doing both in terms of just the actual games but even more than that just overall chemistry level uh, within within everyone mm -hmm. um, the chemistry the team chemistry this year is had it at its highest it's so much better than it was last year we had good team chemistry last year, but like this year, it's so it's like it's so much more. Like we have a phrase this year called ELE, everyone let everybody love each other. So it's just like we're trying to. That's basically our motto. We're trying to live off that and just like trying to hang out with each other more, help each other when we can, and just love each other, you know, and just be there for each other. So that's what makes our team chemistry better this year. And it shows on the court with good ball distribution and everything of that yes. sort. It's a great yes. phrase. Uh, so at this particular point, you know, halfway through the Crossroads League season, getting closer and closer to the end of your junior year, what would you say that your favorite moment of this season has been so far? Uh, my favorite moment, uh, of course, I'd like to go to the uh, Crossroads Championship and then win that and go to Nationals. If, if we did that, that would be my favorite moment. But for now, I would say um, I win over Bethel. Yes, like... Beating a, a good team like that, they're, um, they're ranked top number 20 in the country. And then there are, like, we, we call them last year B-dashes because they're rivals. And, like, they always get all the attention and all the hype. So, and then we've always been, like, their little brother. So it was nice to beat them and get, get out of their shadow and, like, get that recognition. So that was really a good feeling. It was, like, overall as a team, like, we just played really well that game. And that game was definitely one that people wanted to watch. At home, great crowd, and a win over Bethel, who yes. was ranked at the time. Only three losses in the season, mm -hmm. and Goshen is one of them. Yes. And then, final question, what are you most looking forward to as we're getting closer and closer to the end of your junior season? Um, just, we're at the crossroads of our, of our season right now as a team. I'm just looking for us to step up and just, like, win some games and steal some and just make it to uh, to postseason. I think everyone is looking forward to that and uh, our seniors deserve that because they've been here for like four, some a guy has been here, Billy Geske has been here for five years and I think they all deserve that to go out in a, with a bang, let's say, uh, in a good way and then just go on to postseason. Playing for the seniors, always a great mindset for mm -hmm. the season. 
AB, any final thoughts, comments, inspirational quotes that you want to give? Uh, go team. <laughs> AB, thank you so much for your time here. Thanks, really appreciate DC. it. Congratulations again. Thank you. Thank you. Once again, I'm Tanner Camp here with Allison Berry here on 574 Sports. Clear. I did. You gave some fantastic answers.